The Honourable Member for River Heights. Madam Speaker, for over a year, the government has known that there is a meth epidemic and that this represents a crisis for our province. It has affected the lives of individuals and families, increasing crime, and even increasing deaths from homicide and from overdoses. And yet the provincial government has done little, and the epidemic and crisis continues. Will the government finally declare a public health emergency to address this crisis? The Honourable Minister of Health Seniors and Active Living. Madam Speaker, that member should know that when this government opened the, the recent Rapid Access Addictions Medicine Clinic at HSC and then opened two more in close succession, uh, that doctors were saying that this was an important step forward in collapsing the wait time for individuals to receive the treatment that they so desperately need. In Ontario, that meant a 63 per cent reduction in ER visits from those who are addictions affected. Is that what the member means when he says the government has done nothing? The Honourable Member for River Heights on a supplementary question. Yeah. Madam Speaker, I asked the Minister to show us the evidence he's got a 63 per cent reduction. In fact, the evidence suggests that the use of emergency rooms is increasing, not decreasing. The actions of the provincial government have done little, and they've been poorly coordinated. Instead of stalling and stalling and waiting and waffling and waffling and waiting, this government needs to act. Indeed, we need a task force with a director who is empowered to second critical people from varied departments and is empowered to take rapid action to bring all of government together and implement the steps needed to address the current meth epidemic and crisis. Will the government appoint such a director within the next week? The Honourable Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living. Well, Madam Speaker, the member sets the bar quite low and then he fails to get over it. Uh, he is wrong again. Uh, ER wait times are down, not up. They are down 8.5% year over year, but they are down 25% over the past four years. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, we know uh, that we've received the Virgo report and the important work of Dr. Rushwit. That is based on uh, the voices of thousands of Manitobans, families, health care providers, community leaders from every region of our province. We are we are uh, rolling out successively more and more solutions. These things are going to take time. They're going to take collaboration. Uh, we would ask for his collaboration uh, rather than his finger pointing. You're here. The Honourable Member for River Heights on a final supplementary. Uh, we make suggestions, but this government doesn't listen. <laughs> to address the meth crisis, the government needs a director to act to coordinate the provincial emergency room protocols, to put in place detox and stabilization units, to ensure supported transitional housing is present, to coordinate with justice to reduce crime, to ensure K-12 curriculums include critical information on meth, and to coordinate a province-wide awareness campaign. Will the Premier appoint such a director to implement rapid action to coordinate and address the meth crisis in our province. The Honourable Minister of Health, Seniors and Active Living. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think essentially the question that the member is asking is, is this something that has the significant attention of government? I can assure him and all the members of the House uh, that we, undo, uh, we do indeed remain focused on this. We are all alarmed uh, by the increase of methamphetamines and addiction and psychosis in our communities. Uh, we are working. We know this will require collaboration. Uh, ministers and members on this side of the House are collaborating. We are, uh, we are listening to Madam Tobin's on this, uh, but let's remember that that same Virgo report talks about how poorly aligned, after years and years, that our mental health and addiction system actually was. We've got a lot of work to do, and we are getting to that work. Here, here.